show you some vitals of some animals. And now they should come to death. Working with you or something? A what? A surgeon. How's no, your... no, no. 
But how do you do that without cutting it in half? Oh, I just worked at it. How long did it take you to do that? Oh, I don't know. It ain't done yet. So, uh, but uh, it took a little while. But you know, it's the same way with this one. This one's the same thing. This is how it's going to come out. This one's the same thing. That took about two years for that to dry down. That way I don't have to do all the U joint, or all the U joint, all the joints back together. And then I sand off all the extra meat. I put it in capsulate and salt that dries it all out so it doesn't rot. And then I get it, you know, clean it all up and then I spray paint it. But that's the actual rib cage. And the shop was right on the money. You see that? The seven, one, two, three, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Remember I talked about the seven and third rib? Right on the money. But 35 yards, it was almost damn. <laughs> so you're going to soak that with salt? You're going to boil it in water or anything? No, I don't boil it. I just like, keep letting the salt dry on out. Then I'll sand all that extra meat off and it'll look just like salt. No, no. Yeah, that, it'll look just like that one. That's exactly how that one is. <laughs> you set it all down and then you, you know, it took about two years for it to actually get cleaned up. And like I said, I shot this last fall, so it, it, you know, it got sped along. But anyhow, that was the result. That's what you're shooting for, folks. Right there. Now, the right side lung is bigger than the left side. The right side has, you would have three lobes actually on the left and five lobes on the right. You can see that on how many, how that one side's bigger. So if you shoot them in the right side, you got the best one. They will live with one lung. Okay. Any questions on that? Okay, the next one. Like I said, this is going to get a little bloody, but that's why I guess herb left. <laughs> uh, now this is this is a one long shot. And this is to show you that they will die. Now this you can see this was a slightly bit smaller uh, deer. shot 
through both lungs. Which, it, it, it wasn't shot through both lungs. But when I got this up here, do you notice how big the windpipe is on an animal? It's a lot bigger than it's on a deer, because it's got, a, it's got like air induction. It sucks in a lot of air because it runs 60 miles an hour. So that windpipe gets a lot of air down. So that small animal gets a lot of air down. Now watch these lungs. This is an animal. Get it around here. Oh, an animal will always have a smell of their own. There's nothing wrong with those lungs. I shot that antelope right behind it. There again, one lung's bigger than the other. There's no lung damage done to that, no heart damage done to it. It went right behind and cut this main returning artery and killed that dead, that antelope dead instantly. Right through the thoracic cavity. If you watched it on the video, you swore it was lung shot. Okay. Now we've seen a perfectly good one. Uh, what have we got here in the bag? Uh, oh, okay. Here, here is that dough. This is the dough that had the fever problem there. That, uh, anyhow, here's her lungs. There was no reason for her to die. Her thoracic cavity was perfect because it, it cut back there in the femur bone. 